Dips are one of the most important exercise for building the chest and the shoulder girdle. The key advantages of this exercise are the complex involvement in the work of the entire muscles of the body, as well as the development of not only fast twitch, but also slow twitch muscle fibers. In this video, I'll tell you what happens to your body when you do 10 dips every day. So, watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. Let's go! The main advantage of dips is that this exercise involves not only the pectoral muscles, but also the secondary stabilizing muscles that are important important for the formation of correct posture. In addition, the chest during dips is worked out at a fundamentally different angle, in comparison with a bench press and push-ups. Dips develop and strengthen the neuromuscular connection between the brain and muscles. In essence, this exercise teaches the athlete the ability to consciously involve the muscles of the body in work. Ultimately, this leads to an acceleration of the processes of muscle hypertrophy, as a result of which, strength indicators and basic exercises are significantly improved. The main muscle groups that a dips work are the pectoral muscles, triceps, trapezium and the muscles of the shoulder girdle. With the correct technique for performing the exercise, the ups and upper back are also actively involved in the work. It is precisely the fact that dips allow you to involve almost the entire musculature of the body in the work, which is their main difference from such a classic exercise as the bench press. Indeed, even with an inclined bench press, only the pectoral muscles and the shoulders are under load, practically excluding the stabilizing muscles of the body from the movement. The technique of performing dips with a slight inclination of the body will allow you to properly distribute the load and involve not only the lower chest, but also the shoulders, muscles of the arms, back, and also the stabilizing muscles of the body. The key to the correct technique of doing dips is that the weight of the body in this exercise doesn't move along a strictly vertical path. As most people think, weight during dips is concentrated not in one point, but in two. In other words, while lowering the body down, the corpus shouldn't be strictly perpendicular to the floor. It should be at an angle of 15-30 degrees to the vertical. Also, for additional involvement of the abs during the exercise, it is recommended to keep the abs tense, and at the lowest point gently pull the legs to the waist. At the top of the exercise, the arms are straight, the elbows are slightly fixed, the chest is open, the body is as perpendicular to the floor as possible. The gaze is directed in front of you. When lowering, you should take the pelvis back while tilting the body forward. At the bottom point, the elbows are parallel to the bars. The shoulders are just below the level of the elbows. When doing dips, be careful to complete a full cycle of movement without reducing its upper or lower part. If you find it difficult to perform the exercise slowly, use the Gravitron machine or a special platform with a counterweight. The most common dip mistake is to do this exercise partially, leaving your shoulders above or at elbow level. As a result, the chest muscles are only partially included in the work. Another common mistake is pointing the elbows out to the sides instead of back. Care must be taken to ensure the during dips. The elbows are as close to the body as possible, and at the lowest point of the exercise, the shoulder blades are brought together. Otherwise, the shoulder joint will receive an excessive and completely unnecessary load. In addition to performing in a dynamic variation, dips can also be performed in a static variation, according to the principle of the plank exercise. In this case, the goal is to keep the body motionless at the top of the movement for a certain time. You can start with 10 seconds, aiming for a minute or more. There are two types of muscle fibers, fast twitch and slow twitch. For the development of both types of muscle fibers during dips, it's necessary to combine both dynamic and static variation. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel. Links are on the screen right now. See you soon.